Hello, I'm Dan Carano, uh, and I transcribed the guitar parts and some of the trumpet for Captain Beefheart's Tropical Hot Dog Night. The song is fairly easy, so when I show you the transcription, don't be too afraid. The rhythm is strange, and I don't use tabs, but it's really a feel thing. So if you're familiar with the song, you should get something out of this lesson. Uh, I'll try my best to explain the notation in tab wording, so if you don't know theory, you can still understand it, I hope, because Beefheart is weird, you know that. That being said, this might not be 100% correct, but it's better than nothing, which is what's on the internet right now. And if you have any corrections, please mention them in the comments politely, because that could be very helpful for people. Uh, some YouTube lesson tricks before we get started. If you don't understand something, rewind it. If something is too fast uh, in YouTube, you could slow things down and you could practice it slower. Um, and definitely use screenshots. You screenshot all my notation and everything. Now I'm going to show you, show and play for you the transcription I did. And then I'm going to show you how to do all the parts on the guitar. All right, let's get into it. So what you want to do is we're going to play an A chord, but we're going to play it here. So if you're talking about in the cage system, you're playing a D shape, but here, but only the, uh, the fourth, third, and second string. So you have your finger on the uh, fourth string, seventh fret, your first finger, and then you have your ring finger on the ninth fret of the third string, and then you have your pinky on the tenth fret of the second string. So you're playing an A chord there. And it would help to put, to take this finger, your index finger, and kind of touch the, the A string, the fifth string a little bit, so you can mute it, so you could right and you and you can mute the uh, the E string with your pinky so you, if you if you want if if you think that you're gonna hit it so you just want to hit those three strings down with a down stroke and then it's gonna be two up strokes so it's right so down stroke two upstrokes. So it's like a long and then two shorts. I hope that's helpful. So that's the beginning of the, the first phrase. For the second part, you want to have, you could pretty much just bar this, this at the seventh fret the whole time. And you want to put your middle finger on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. Um, and then you want to pull off to the 7th fret of the 2nd string. Like this. Just one down stroke with, with your pick. Right? And then you up stroke uh, to the 7th fret of the 3rd string. So it sounds like this. Okay, and then you put those two together and it, and it comes like this. It'll take a little practice. It's, it's a strange rhythm, but if you're 
just like I said, if you're familiar with Tropical Hot Dog Night, you'll you'll get it. I'll do it a little slow, so. All right, so the next part, um, you're still you're still here. You're still you know you can still borrow this. You don't have to press hard, but um, so you want to put your pinky on the tenth fret of the second string, and you pull off. Right? Just like this, but with your pinky on the 10th fret of the second string. Okay, and then you do the thing where that's one downstroke, and then you upstroke again to the 7th fret of the 3rd string. But then you have another downstroke on the 9th fret of the 3rd string, so it's... Or you could ham you could hammer it. So you, you know, listen to the recording to to really get the rhythm. But it's that's pretty much that part. The next part, you're still here, but you. You, you keep your finger here, but you want to put your your ring finger on the ninth fret of the third string and your middle finger on the eighth fret of the second string. And you hit those two at, and you hit the third string and the second string at the same time. But you want to pull off both to to hit the seven of the the third and second string. So and you, you kind of want to put your palm uh, here on the uh, on the bottom three strings so you don't get too much noise out of it. You don't have to, but some people will be like, oh, this sounds muddy. All right, so that's that part. It goes back to this. And then it goes. Chord, a D power chord. So you have your first finger on the D. On the fifth fret of the fifth string. And your ring finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string. And you let that ring out. And then. Move this finger to the fifth fret of the third string, and then you use your pinky to hit the seventh fret of the of the third string. So, it, so you go, so you go. So I hope you get that. So, uh, no pinky, pinky, no pinky, pinky, and then you do the same thing at the C. Um, uh, if you don't know the C. It, the C power chord, it's index finger at the third fret and the ring finger at the fifth fret of the, it's, it's the D power chord, but down two frets. It's the same thing. So let's, let's just play that again. explain that as well as I thought I was going to, but I hope you get it. Horn 
and the intro is playing this. Which is, um, I'm putting my ring finger on the 12th fret of the first string. And then I'm rolling it over. So I'm kind of hitting it with this part of my finger. <laughs> with this part of my finger. I'm gonna... so, I'm... so that's of the second string, the 12th fret of the second string. And then the uh, 10 fret of the second string. And then... 12, 10, 12, 10, 12 of the second string, 10, 12 of the first string. So. Hope this helped you. If, uh, if it did, you could support me by liking and subscribing. Uh, if you really like to support me, you could go to dancarano.bandcamp.com and you could buy my, my album. You don't have to listen to it. You could just give me some money. Thank you.